Right, we're going an hour now. I'm just reaching, I hope, the final style in the open country. Flies, open access land. There we go. Flies, flies, flies. Up through the bracken steeply. Uh, at least the rain stopped. It's only a light drizzle in the end. Where to now? I think it's straight ahead. I, think I can see a little bit of. Off there. Bit marshy here. Ugh. Oh, go around. Oh, looking back. Black mountains covered in cloud. A boggy bit here and a bit of open ground. Can't quite see where it goes. I think there's a hole up here. Ah, oh, yes. Making some ground at last, looking back down to the hostel and the reservoir. And uh, there's somebody coming down here. He's been up early. Morning. You're up early. Hey, uh, take some pictures. Um, took some, yeah, but I mean, it was, it was freezing last night. You just camping out there, were you? Yeah, on the top of the can. Oh yeah. So, and uh, just came down now, and it's, it's been pissing down until now. Oh, a little bit of drizzle. Yeah, I think it's going to clear up. Yeah, sorry. No, I didn't get many to be honest with you. No. <laughs> Have a good day. Cheers. Just leaving the bracken zone here, coming out into the heather. There's a little cairn here, we might see ahead in a minute. Alright, just got the first, uh, first view of the cairn on Kampika, way ahead there. See the ridge now. Quite a cold wind now, there's a bit of sun on top. Hopefully it'll warm up soon. Getting closer, but you can see how big the hill is from the size of those sheep up there. Getting towards the sleep a bit now. out slowly clear it up up the final steep ridge of Calm Pika whoa is your heart going Someone on a motorbike rounding up the sheep. And the horses are all running off into this valley here. Oh, Khan Pika. It's taken me about one hour fifty-five from the hostel. It's very st steep that last bit. Whoa. Down there, across 
some more now. Little sandy groove across the top here. Now I've got away from the edge, the, uh, the wind has lessened. Not so cold at all. Here's a cairn on the highest part of this mountain. We're going to head to the Brecon Beacons and see one of the, uh, the peaks out. Yeah, that motorbike coming. Oh, here he comes. Farmer whistling for his own, for his sheep. Run the last lot here. Anyway, that's two hours now to the highest point here. Here comes a motorbike. Man. Chasing his sheep. There you go. Oh, I missed the path back there. I'm just rejoining it. Ended up in the boggy stuff. I can't give too far left. Oh, I can see where I've got to see the little coal there, or bull, where I've got to head out along that ridge to the left. There's the coal now. Now I can see over the other side. So on the way back we're coming from where those people are. But now I'm gonna cut off to the left here. There's some sheep that haven't been rounded up. I walk along the edge here for a bit. Looking down there, over there somewhere is the site of the aircraft wreck. Can't see it at the moment, I'll probably see it when I get further around. Good views along this edge. Cutting off soon I think, to cut across to the other reservoirs. I can see the ridge. The skyline over there. A whole group of sheep waiting for me to, to frighten them. They will watch me and they'll suddenly run. There they go. Or they stand in their ground. Oh, they stand in their ground. Hello boys. Some walkers here. Morning. Morning. Nice morning. Lovely. Crossing over this uh, stream inlet here, I believe this is where I leave the path to cut across the moor. Go across these streams first. So 
a much improved path here. Right, this is crossing the main stream that's coming down to the right. Lovely red water. Brown with the feet. I think path goes on left and there's a little one up going straight ahead up there to the right. There is a line of a path here. Hopefully it's going where I want to go. Right, the cairn here. A little bit of a path down to the left. That skyline ridge is where we're going to go. And the uh, Panjavan and Kondua slowly emerging from the mist. So, looks like the path is going down here. I can see the uh, reservoir now and the path up by the wood on the far side there. Up to the uh, checkpoint, care entry point, whatever. And Penny Van and Kondu around here. Coming down by this large uh, gully now, which drains into the reservoir. Getting closer to the reservoir. Coming down to join this proper track now. Oh, this is the uh, the old Roman road, I believe, or whatever they call it. So up here we've got Kundu, Panivan, Gribbin, and uh, Fanny Big up there. Down the track through this gate. Just tied up with a bit of rope. Don't let the sheep through. I haven't come through the gate, I'm not sure which way to go. I guess we go left or right. Have a look through this gap here, see what I can see. Oh, that's where I want to be down there. Oh, I've got to cross the, get across the spillway. Oh, there's a bridge down there. So, probably. Probably around here to the left. Oh, that didn't seem to help at all. Seems to be taking me out. I'll just see what's here. Just in case there's a path. Ah, there's a bit of a path. Well, maybe this is where I should have come out. Yeah, maybe along the top of those. Anyway, this seems to go down in the right direction. It's all boarded up though, someone's broken in a bit. Down some steps. Ah, looks like a little, little path down here. Danger keep out. Ah, yes, I think this is it.
across the uh, across the dam. So I've been going three hours and five minutes now. Out through another gate. Please keep the gate closed at all times. Deeply up this hillside. Quite a wet, oozy path. The path is a bit better up here. Quite rocky, draining out of the hillside. Oh, getting towards the last steep bit, and it's very muddy here. Oozy, muddy, scrunchy. Actually eroded up here. Quite a deep gully here. Just cleared the gully onto the plateau path. Alright, there's the trick point. Just 50 meters away now. Alright, the trick point, which is the second peak. It doesn't count at all. It's really good. I've still got to go all the way up here. Another plaque here. It's 10, 10.37, been going three and a half hours now. Setting off up this ridge. Keep following these paths which keeps leading over to the left here. I don't really want to go. I believe the path right along the edge. So I better head back to the edge again. Oh, back onto the path now. This is going to be a bit quicker rather than going across country. Right along the edge. In fact, I should have followed it from way back there by the, after the, kit, uh, the trick point. On the top of this stream. Yeah. Someone's here. Very clever. Along the edge of the crag here. On a very good path. Looks like someone's removed a rock here, and I bet they've removed it to throw it over the edge. Path now going way up towards Kundu. People on the ridge, and I've turned around just before Kundu. Here I'm at the Cairn at Kevin Cull, about another mile up to where those people are on the skyline. I've been going four hours now. And to the left, here's a ridge I'm coming up. Kundu, Kainavan, Caribbean, Funny Big, right over to the back. Past the narrow part now, and Kundu, Penny Van. All the people up there already. Just level with the top of Caribbean. Way above Fanny Big.
these sheep farmers are getting ready for the big roundup. Started the descent now towards the Story Arms. That was a cold wind up here. God, you make me feel cold dressed like that. It's cold up there. It's okay. It's okay for yeah. Yeah. Bit, a bit faster going down here. Best path all day. There's singing going on here. Gonna sing for me? We are sailors. No. <laughs> Fish. That was us. <laughs> it seems we're just not pretty. <laughs> Going down towards the car park now. Van Vauer ahead, which will be the first peak on the day. Right, almost down to the car park now. One little bridge to cross. The bridge or Ford. Just over five hours so far, but a bit of stop for chat along the way. Uh, into the car park. This is where the first checkpoint will be. Somewhere here. There's the toilet and the, ref and the refreshment, uh, refreshment stands. Nice, lovely, so dear.